It is my absolute pleasure to welcome to the stage the star of Channel 10's The Project <laughs> and CEO and co-founder, Dr. Adam Bumpus from Redgrid. Thank you, thank you, Karen. Uh, red dress, uh, red shoes, red hair. We kind of had to be called, I think, Red Red, right? That's it. So um, thank you very much, Karen. It is wonderful to be here. I'm Adam, and we are Red Grid. This is a telephone from 20 years ago. It did what it was meant to do. You could call someone in a building, and that was about it very much. It's almost impossible to think that that telephone there has turned into the supercomputer that you have inside your pocket right now. But this is where the energy industry is well. Now, if you go out and go to Harvey Norman tomorrow to pick up an air conditioner, that's what you're going to get. It might look like a fairly OK air conditioner, but actually, it's pretty dumb. It has no connectivity. It's like the old phone. And the challenge with this is that we have all these unintelligent devices on the grid being joined by a tidal wave of renewable energy, of solar, of batteries, of other consumer energy devices that are increasingly connected. And what this means is, we're starting to see a grid that is increasingly overloaded. We can think of our grid as a centralized brain. We have more data and more signals than ever before. And this means we have to de data in a way that really makes sense, because right now, the costs are getting higher, the prices are going up, and as we heard from Kath earlier, the blackouts are still happening. What if we had a whole lot of smaller brains? What if each of those brains could talk to each other, understand each other, and respond collectively together. Now imagine that every energy device you have at home has a little brain put inside it, a real intelligence. And imagine that those brains in a mesh network could talk to each other, understand each other machine to machine. We'd have a truly distributed transaction. And the calculations and transaction of those will happen at the edge, so that customers, corporates, and communities know when they're making and saving money. We at Regrid are solving the problem of energy on demand and enabling people and communities and networks to respond to the challenges on the grid. We don't need a smart grid. We need intelligent devices. And that's what we do at Regrid, because we are a software company implementing the ability for these devices to have a this, in fact, is a brain. This is with one of our partners from Zen Ecosystems who are working with what the, what the Internet of Energy is going to bring. And what's important about this is now this software can go into this device and help that device communicate through what we're calling the Internet of Energy. The Internet of Energy is an open source standard software platform that will enable a whole bunch of devices to talk to each other. Your thermostat, your solar, your smart meter, all of it, transacting and talking to each other machine to machine. Everyone gets a voice, and each one can then be optimized through our artificial intelligence that enables, and we've shown through our simulations, a 40% saving on costs associated with that machine. This model is pretty simple. We're a software as a service company with a monthly subscription per unit, and we have customers who will come in on multi-year contracts. We're starting to develop and get our technology out in university campuses here in Australia, and we're rolling out with smart facilities management companies and with customer-focused retailers. Our market size is $4 billion in, in Australia, but because we're software and because we can go for volumes, we actually have the opportunity to go global with this. And that's just as well, because we've got some really wonderful organizations who are in discussion working with. We have been working with the United Nations award-winning Net Zero Initiative at Monash University. We have signed in the last three months, and we're incredibly proud to announce this, we've signed our first proof of value with Energy Australia and with Spotless and Vicinity, which we are incredibly proud of. So we will be bringing machine-to-machine -machine automated demand response and demand management to Australian consumers. We're also really happy to announce that we are in collaboration with Telstra, looking at energy data in the home, and are working and talking with uh, Deloitte on how we can use 
open data streams to figure out how to make the grid better. Finally, we were really chuffed that a few weeks ago we got a call from the German International Development Agency, one of the largest in the world, who said they've scoured the world to figure out how we can help transact value on solar, and they figured out that the Regra solution is the one they want to work with, and so we're actually looking at now taking ourselves global. This is super exciting, yes! Thank you. Well, why should we be doing this? We feel there is a fundamental change in what's going to happen for our grids. And the first part is that up until now, imposed structures that run our grids. And these have been really difficult because they're basically smaller or different versions of a centralized brain. They didn't have the ability to scale, they were slow, they were in. And we had a real trouble before enabling coordination between these devices. We want to build something entirely different, an emergent intelligent system and that is private, scalable, and secure. And what this means is we can have a grid that can deal with the amount of data that's coming onto it. Right now, there are 14.2 connected devices in the world. In two years' time, there's going to be 25 billion devices. And in two years' time, in July, we will move to five-minute interval timing for energy in Australia. There is no current system that can deal with that level of information. We need a new system, and it needs to be flipped on its head and created from the device level up. Wow, that's big, right? Thank goodness I've got such an amazing way to do this. We are not spring chickens apart from Alex, who takes the average age down by half. But the rest of us <laughs> are seasoned entrepreneurs and people working in development. We have PhDs. We have people who ran the blockchain at a national bank. We've got $800 million worth of software as a sales experience behind us. So we can deliver on this project because it's really important. Because right now, the good news for is that this is where we're at. The dumb air conditioner still exists. This is where we are today. But we're going to hear the global internet of energy. On cue, someone <laughs> dropped something out the back. The robots are starting to talk to each other. <laughs> and they'll even talk even more when we are very happy to announce that we're actually opening a crowd equity very shortly. So we are open to expressions of interest. We would love to talk to you. We're building our book of investors right now. We would love to you to come along this journey because if you are a bold thinker and if you do want to see the energy grid of the future, come and join us at Red Grid. Thank you.